So there comes a point where, as a caregiver, you know, maybe we need some professional help. How do we go about looking for it? What do we need to look for? So we had asked Janine Pratt from Pathways back here to speak to us, um, just to give us a few pointers on if you want to go the professional way, hire a professional caregiver, how do we, um, what things do we need to look for? So um, as she comes up, um, I'll speak a little bit about her. Um, she has a master's in gerontology and she works for Pathways Home Health, Hospice and Private Duty. Um, it's a community-based, not-for-profit organization providing Bay Area families with the help they need to com confidently and successfully manage care at home for over 35 years. And we also have many other wonderful organizations also providing um, professional um, caregiving um, opportunities. So um, without further ado, here is Janine. Good afternoon, everyone. And I wanted to speak to uh, Brendan's presentation on taking care of yourselves as a caregiver. He was talking about how stressed is contagious. And part of our goal here today is to flip stressed. If you spell stressed backwards, it spells desserts. So I hope you take away a lot of good ideas for desserts today. Thank you, Brenda. Yes. So I'm here today to speak on professional caregiving and hiring help at home. Today we're represented by uh, four very good organizations that can assist you. Let's say you've gotten together with your family members and you've decided, well, you know, I think we need to talk about looking outside the home, outside the family. What can we do to provide us some support and respite? So professional caregiving at home, hiring help at home, this presentation is to help you make the right choice for you and your family and your loved one. Pathways Home Health Hospice and Private Duty was founded in 1977. We're just celebrating our 35th anniversary as a not-for-profit community organization. And we're actually located right around the corner across from the uh, Sunnyvale Post Office. What I'm going to be speaking on is private duty, non-medical home care. And private duty may also be called home care. The agencies represented here today do provide non-medical home care. It helps the client to remain independent in their own home or if they're living in an assisted living and skilled nursing or even as a sitter if they need to be hospitalized. Caregiver options are nurse supervised, home health aides, and some agencies do provide live-in companions. And private duty clients are recovering from surgery, accident, or illness, or managing a chronic condition such as Parkinson's. And they're in need of support for independent living. And respite, I highlighted respite because I see that as being the most urgent need for those of you who are caring for a loved one. And it's short term to relieve the primary caregiver. We're going into the summer months, so some of you may be thinking, wouldn't it be nice to take a little weekend vacation, go away for a week to visit family members that live out of the area? Or some of you have probably heard the term staycation, where you stay at home, where you might be in the area, but you want to just go for maybe four or six hours to have a break. And in addition to caring for your loved one at home, it also includes light housekeeping, meal preparation, or even someone who needs it, someone to drive them to their doctor's appointments. And payment for private duty services, home care, is paid for privately. Long-term care insurance may cover, and there is also the VA aid and attendant uh, services through the Veterans Administration. So for those of you who are veterans, you definitely want to check with the, your, the VA organization. And there is occasional private insurance coverage for non-medical chronic conditions. No Medicare or Medi-Cal coverage for this type of service. Now out in the community, beyond home care, there are a lot of community care and support options. There's informal care, which could be through uh, a friendly companion coming in from a senior center or other organization club that you might be affiliated with. 
uh, of local resource information through your senior centers. Also, on the back table, I do have a copy of the uh, Silicon Valley uh, Council on Aging resource book, as well as their web website for you. For those of you who live in San Mateo County, I have a copy of the book, uh, Help at Home Directory for San Mateo County. And of course, legal and financial counseling is also available. Transportation services, this is one of the number one need for all seniors in our communities. Uh, here locally, we have road runners, we have outreach. There are some good private uh, transportation companies such as Silver Rides. Also, there's a company called Delivered by Grace. Um, and support in a CCRC. Uh, perhaps you're considering having your loved one go into an assisted living or, um, of course, a short-term respite stay. And depending on the organization and the building and their programs, those, that is also available too. RCFE assisted living is one, skilled nursing facilities. Also, there are nutrition programs out in the communities at your local senior centers, also at adult day health programs. And these are fabulous programs to supplement caregiving at home because it's in a, in a group setting. They have Avenidas and Mountain View. There is the Live Oak adult day programs. There's also the programs through Catholic Charities. Also, respite care at home from a, uh, a private duty or home care agency, such as those of us who are represented here today. Uh, hospice care, um, as um, Brendan was talking about, you know, decline in health, palliative care, there's that information is available for you as well. Just to plan ahead to be prepared. I like to say we're never ready, but we always want to be prepared. And also support groups, just as you're all here today. Parkinson's Institute is a wonderful organization, and it's really been a godsend for all of you. And private duty options, home care agencies, no one size fits all. In this valley alone, we have over 100 private duty home care agencies. Some of them have, but it may be a family. Some of them are very large organizations, such as Pathways. And there are three types. There are employment agencies, and they do referrals. There are private hired. This has the highest risk. This is when you see the card or the uh, notice at the senior center or the supermarket caregiver available for X amount of dollars per hour. And full service agencies, they have the lowest risk. Employment agencies, they place the caregiver and the client pays the agency hiring fee. And you pay these caregivers directly. The client is the employer, very important. Federal, state, payroll taxes, workers' compensation, and possibly unemployment con uh, insurance is your responsibility. You see a lot of those wonderful, pretty, colorful brochures at uh, senior centers and other locations. Um, and again, you, you want to read the fine print and you want to ask very specific questions when you call these agencies. Referral agencies, they place the caregiver. The client pays the agency hiring fee, and the client pays the caregiver's wages to a trust account. And the client is still the employer, so you are responsible for federal, state payroll taxes, workers' comp, and unemployment insurance. Hiring privately, again, highest risk. Independent nurses, companion aides, word of mouth, or print media ads is oftentimes how people find these um, privately hired caregivers. Or again, the card or the notice at the supermarket senior center. I even sometimes see them in pharmacies. And post-it notice, post notices at senior centers, retail outlet, drugstores, grocery, etc. The client, you are the employer. And you pay the caregiver directly. And there may be no replacement because you're just working with this one private hire. And there's no professional supervision. There's also no screening or background checks. Hiring privately, again, you're responsible for federal and state payroll requirements, workers' compensation insurance, unemployment insurance, and the client is responsible for screening, supervising, training, and assumes all liabilities. 
a full service agency, and we are one of those, they screen, train, employ, and supervise. They pay all the payroll taxes and unemployment insurance, workers' compensation insurance, general and professional liability insurance, and employee fidelity bonding. Also, some full service agencies pay full benefits. Now, our organization, we are a member of the California Association of Health Services. Some of these agencies here are also members, and they hold themselves to a higher standard of, of practice. The National Private Duty Association, reference and background checks, fingerprinting, physical exam, and TB testing. Very, very, very important is the health status of the caregiver that you're bringing into your home because you already have a compromised chronic condition and you want to be very careful of the health status of someone you're bringing into your home. So full service does equal peace of mind. You want to ask the agency about training, screening, references, their U.S. work authorization, payroll tax withholding, salary benefits, and coverage for days Damn. off, sick days, Damn. Damn. and holidays. Don't spouse. So in summary, this presentation is to help you understand your options. There are wonderful organizations out there, wonderful caregivers, but agencies do differ by type. Understand the possible risks, ask lots and lots of questions. If you feel a little uncomfortable, there, make sure you ask, don't be afraid to ask the needed questions. Our website is available for more information and, and resources as well. So. And I also brought, which is not in the presentation, there are a lot of caregiving websites available. We are so fortunate today to have uh, the information available on the web. So I brought two things. Caring for the caregiver, I have on the back table. And this has some mindfulness thoughts as well. In addition to Care for the Caregiver websites. And please, I welcome you to take a copy for your resource. And I wish you all a very great afternoon. Thank you.